Good day, grade 7 students. I am teacher Mary Jane Rico Hermoso, your science teacher for today. For today's lesson, we are going to talk about the layers of the atmosphere. The objectives of our lesson are define atmosphere and identify the layers of the atmosphere. For a review of terms and concepts in science, I am going to show you a picture and you are going to identify it. Are you ready? Let's begin. Correct. This one is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide plays an important part in plant and animal processes, such as photosynthesis and respiration. Next picture. Very good, that is oxygen. Oxygen is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas essential to living organisms, being taken up by animals when we inhale. How about this one? Can you guess what's in the picture? Very good, that is ozone. Ozone is a form of oxygen. This colorless gas is made up of three oxygen atoms. Now class, those terms that you identify a while ago plays an important role in the atmosphere. In fact, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and ozone are some gases that are present in our atmosphere. Let's find out more. Let's talk about the atmosphere. What is atmosphere? Atmosphere comes from the Greek word atmos, meaning vapor, and spira, meaning sphere. Atmosphere is a blanket of air that surrounds the earth. Atmosphere is also an example of solution. Why do you think so? Because it is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.96% of argon, 0.04 carbon dioxide, and trace amounts of neon, helium, methane, krypton, hydrogen, and water vapor. Here are the layers of the atmosphere. From the bottom, we have the troposphere, followed by stratosphere, and then mesosphere. Next is thermosphere, and the last layer is the exosphere. Here are the objects or materials that you can find in the first layer, which is the troposphere. It is where we live in. This layer has the air we breathe and the clouds in the sky. Troposphere is the first layer from Earth's surface. Air in this layer is warmer near the surface and gets colder as it gets higher. It contains almost all the water vapor and dust in the atmosphere that causes cloud formation. This is also the layer where weather occurs. The next layer is the stratosphere. In the stratosphere, we have weather balloon, jet aircraft, and ozone. It is in this layer where the presence of ozone is observed. The ozone layer absorbs harmful radiation from the sun. The air in this layer is very dry and about a thousand times thinner than the air at sea level. It is also where jet aircrafts and weather balloons fly. Next layer is the mesosphere. Meteors burn up in this layer. When meteoroids enter Earth's atmosphere at high speed and burn up, the fireballs or shooting stars are called meteors. When a meteoroid survives a trip through the atmosphere and hits the ground, it is called a meteorite. The next layer is the thermosphere. The famous aurora borealis, or what we call the northern lights, mostly occur in the thermosphere. This layer is very sensitive to solar activity and can heat up to 1,500 degrees Celsius. This is the hottest layer of the atmosphere. 
Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis can be found in this layer of the atmosphere. The last layer is the exosphere. The, outer, the outermost layer of the atmosphere. This layer of the atmosphere merges into space. Satellites are stationed in this area, 500 kilometers to 1,000 kilometers from Earth. Now, let's test if you learned something in our lesson today. Can you label the layers of the atmosphere in this picture? It's starting from the lowest to the highest layer of the atmosphere. Go! You are right. The first layer is the troposphere, second is stratosphere, third is mesosphere, fourth is thermosphere, and the last layer is the exosphere. Very good. You learned a lot. Now, let's think about it. Why is Earth the only planet capable of sustaining life? Yes, very good. The atmosphere is like a warm blanket, keeping the planet warm through insulation and preventing extremes between day and night temperatures. It also protects life on Earth by shielding it from incoming ultraviolet rays from the sun. We wouldn't be able to live on Earth without an atmosphere. Next, let's have a short quiz test if you really understand our lesson for today. The first question is, what do you call a blanket of air that surrounds the Earth? A. Exosphere, B. Atmosphere, C. Stratosphere, and letter D. Thermosphere. The correct answer is letter B atmosphere. Good job! Next question. In which layer do virtually all weather phenomena take place? A. Troposphere, B. Stratosphere, C. Exosphere, and letter D. Mesosphere. The correct answer is letter A. You are right! Next number, number three. What is the hottest layer of the atmosphere? A. Stratosphere, B. Exosphere, C. Thermosphere, and letter D. Troposphere. The correct answer is letter C. Good job again, guys. Number four. What is the correct order of Earth's atmospheric layers from bottom to top? A. Stratosphere, Mesosphere, Troposphere, Thermosphere, and Exosphere. B. Stratosphere, Troposphere, Thermosphere, Mesosphere, and Exosphere. Letter C. Troposphere, Mesosphere, Stratosphere, Thermosphere, and Exosphere. And letter D. Troposphere, Stratosphere, Mesosphere, Thermosphere, Exosphere. The correct answer is letter D. Good job! Last number. Number five. Why is the presence of ozone above the troposphere important for the survival of living things on Earth? A. It warms the Earth's surface. B. It helps in cloud formation. C. It makes jet flying more comfortable. And letter D. It offers protection from the sun's harmful UV rays. The correct answer is letter D. Good job! I hope you learned a lot today. See you again on our next video lesson. Take care! Bye!